Guys, welcome back to the next video. This time I'm going to be taking a look at the GH401 gaming headset from AOC. And yes, I will be doing a comparison when it comes to the Eclipse HG 10s from Height because they are very similar when it comes to price as well as wireless functionality. So make sure you continue to watch. Okay, this is the GH401s. It is a gaming set from AOC, and this is the microphone test. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Here we go. How to enable XMP. The Eclipse HD10s from Height. Microphone test. How to enable XMP. <laughs> Hey guys, well this time it's the GH401s. Now what we're going to do, I've done some microphone testing, but I want to really show you the overall mic, uh, overall headset itself, because this is from AOC. Now in terms of what comes in the accessories, now it is wireless. Yeah, it's Wi-Fi unfortunately. It does come with a Type-C to USB, and then of course it's got this then, which is... Yeah, it can be connected to audio. So, and then it comes with a little manual by you, then quick start guide. And then, we get to the headset itself. Now, I've got the height headset here because these are very similar. Then, they're very good for comparison. So, as you can see, the microphone isn't detachable. So, yeah. Unfortunately, when... Because this is very, well, as you can see, look, it keeps going back. So when you've got this on your head, unfortunately, it keeps going like that. So it's Type-C, it's got a microphone on and off, it's got a volume control. Then there is the port then for just the audio. There's the power button. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the buttons. Now, of course, you can see there's a brushed, like aluminum thing. Yeah, it's got a bit of a height just. And in terms of comfort, it does have very nice drivers on here and does feel very nice on the head. But the only thing I'd say is the microphone. It does tend to come up here, so it's really in your face. The overall design is very nice. They sound very good and the microphone does sound very good as well. So when it comes to the overall comfort, now, yes, it has got padding on top of here which is stitched by that with an AOC logo so yeah you've got the cables there cables there yes you can take it apart with just normal screws and of course it has got these lovely accents I will say I do like the overall black and red because it is an AOC color but one thing I will say is I'm not a fan of the microphone I wish it was detachable because when you're using it you're like this so just imagine that on your head. I understand that this is where you're going to be talking, but if you want to get that out of the way, watch. It goes back. Eventually, it will go back to the way it was. So that's one little annoying thing. So there's that headset. Now, these two are very similar because they do Wi-Fi and they do cable. So what I'm going to do is show you the comparison between both. Now, yes, the height headset does have a detachable microphone and as you can see they are overly well they're very different when it comes to the overall style now yes the drivers on here are a little bit better that and obviously this is more of a premium because there is a difference in price and of course it has height just with this one as well but it's the buttons so you've got the microphone on and off then you've got the power button it is type c microphone by there and then you've got a toggle switch and that is the led to show when it's on so the problem with the height one is that because it's got a detachable microphone it does generally do a bit of crackling that is due to the fact that it is detachable so of course there's gonna be some sort of interference yes the microphone on the aoc headset does sound very good for a, for a headset but I do wish they were Bluetooth, because if they were Bluetooth, then it would be easier for, say, console gamers with Bluetooth. It'd be a lot easier to have this as a headset with just Bluetooth instead of using a dongle. Now, of course, they are both 
very similar they've got padding on both now of course the, these are a little bit smaller and of course the cu coupling obviously they are different colors as well but the overall microphone of the gh401 does sound a lot better which is to be expected because like i said detachable microphone there's going to be a static going to be static when it comes to the microphone Okay then, well that's the review, uh, they are very nice and from the pricing I've looked on Amazon they are at the £69, which, very good price, but it is a variant of when it comes to the price because obviously the sales with Amazon, uh, I've seen them at 69 one day, 59 the other, so they are around that um, mid-range to mid-range price range when it comes to headsets. The height ones, of course, they are around $90, so they are around the £70 mark. So, yeah, these two are more comparable than anything else. I would have liked to use the Philips headset, but for some reason the microphone isn't working. Yeah, so. <laughs> but, overall, very, very nice headset. I'm not a fan. See, as you can see, look, it's gone back. Not a lover of the microphone because you can't just push it out of the way because it'll go straight back there. And it's a bit of annoying, especially if you don't want to use it. But then again, you could just press that button, turn off the microphone, and then not worry about it. Overall quality is very nice. And I'd like to say a big thank you to AOC for them sending it out. Very good microphone. It feels very good on the head. Not as nice as the height ones because the height headset, when I put them on, I forget they're there because these are, these are my most favorite headset. The headphones I've had of any brand, these are the ones I use for game nights when it comes to Patreon with Andy Rafael from Etechnic. So, yeah. Now, I would have put the other AOC headset, but they aren't the same price. They are a lot cheaper and you can't really compare two products from the same brand that are like 30 pound apart you can't because there's going to be a huge difference there's going to be differences in quality other than that the quality is very very good and yes it gets a recommendation from welshy and i'm come becoming a little bit of a headphone snob because like i said the height ones are my favorite to use because of the overall quality and feel and to be honest, these feel very, very good as well. So, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. This is Richard Welch Tech. Good bye.